Hey, alternate tunings, portal to a whole new universe. If you followed the, the post, you've got your guitar now tuned to an open G. I don't watch the time on this. So if you simply play your strings, you get a G chord. If you take your finger, piece of wood, a whole bunch of fingers. All you're doing is covering off fifth fret, C, G, D. We're also going to cover off the second fret and hit an A. I think this is in the key of G, G, C, D, with an A. Don't ask me. But we're going to learn some other things. We're going to learn big time slides. So you can play that first G. You're going to start with your finger back here over the, between the first and fret and the nut, and you're going to slide it up to the fifth. You're not just going to go. That's as clean as it needs to be played. You should actually avoid the top string. You don't really use an extra D. That's as clean as we need to have it for this song, believe me. But you're going to come in on that G. You're going to do the same thing when you want to come up to the, uh, to the D. You're going to be going... play any blues song with a 1-4-5 progression in G. It's got to be a thousand of them, almost a universe full. With that slide sound, it almost sounds like you're playing slide. In fact, if you want to, we could use an IntelliTouch tuner and we'll play a little. Slide. You use a bottleneck you can use, a pen, you can use your beer bottle when you're playing. Proper slide works better. Alright, open chords, slides. Double stop. Don't know if you've ever heard of the term of a double stop. Somebody who knows more about me, I'm sure I'm going to get corrected anyways, will let you know what it really is. But double stop is you're playing two strings. I'm using my thumb on the G string. Let's see if you guys can actually see what I'm doing here. Thumb on the G string, and my political middle finger is on the E string, and I'm snapping them both up. finger. doesn't matter which one you use. I use my middle finger. It's going on the G string at the second fret. And we're going to pull up. Then we're going to slide that finger to the fourth fret. And I'm not really sure what we're going to do after that, but we'll figure it out. And that will give you an intro. And it goes like this. A little bass thing at the top, you hit the, um, no, the E string and the A string, whatever notes they are now. See what I'm playing. I try to do it in front of the camera, I'm just using my political finger on the G string. Third one up. But we're going to do it off time. 
and you're plucking those two fingers, can you see my finger and my thumb down here? You don't play that note. You slide it from there to the fourth. Put this finger down so you can see. Open. Two. Slide to four. two beginners, way below 90% of the people on the beginners forum on uh, Saturday night at my birthday party, and um, I'm not the chart in front of you, we'll go with a lot of singers, you all know the song. to that C, and then you're going to hammer on with your political finger on the 6th fret B string, whatever the B string is now, and your ring finger is going to come down on the 7th fret of what was the D string, it still is the D string I guess, and that gives your rolling stone sound. Put it all together, sort of. Richard's rhythm. Watch my time. I'm there, Jim, so borrow Queen in the mess. I still to do this. She had to leave me right across her shoulder. Alternate tunings. Hope you enjoyed.